Hey everybody, Jeff, your executive gardener. Thanks for joining me again. So this is gonna be a quick um, video on cucumbers. So I've done this a while ago, so if you don't feel like digging back in my video archive, let me talk to you about how to maximize cucumber production. So if you live in an apartment or a small area where you don't have much garden, whether it's in a container, a green stalk garden, or in your backyard, and you wanna maximize cucumber production, I'll show you how. I'm gonna show you the two main varieties of cucumbers that I go after and that I use. And one is called Monaceous, which is the cucumber variety that's got male and female flowers. The hotter it gets, the more male flowers you get, the less female flowers you get. And then there's another variety called Partenotopic, which means that, and I'll put the spelling here right here, it means that uh, they're hybrids. Uh, this variety, Titus, you can find it on eBay or anyone. This variety only produces female flowers, no male flowers, so it's able to pollinate itself. Obviously, in monaceous flowers, there's female and male flowers. I'll show you what each look like. But if you want to get 10 times the production of cucumbers in a small space, you go for the Parthenotopic uh, cucumbers. So let me show you my green stalk garden where I'm growing both and show you what I mean. There she is, my half dojo, half pit bull. She's fierce. No, I'm just kidding. She's a big, big sweetheart. She likes to be out in the garden with me. And unlike me, she likes to stay in the shade. So let's take a look. This is a quick lesson on cucumbers. So there's two different varieties I want to talk about today. Monaceous and Parthenotopic. Topic, excuse me. I'll put the words down next to each, okay? And in the description box. So uh, monaceous means that there's female flowers and male flowers, okay? And obviously uh, the male flower has to be, uh, pollinate the female flower. Obviously birds and the bees, the bees do that for you. Butterflies do it. They land on a male flower. And let me show you an example of a male flower, okay? Where is it? Uh, there we go. That's a male flower, okay? No little cucumber at the base. Let me show you what a female flower looks like. This is a female flower, okay? It's got a little cucumber at the base, and once a bee lands in that from the male flower, the pollen goes in there, and then you have a cucumber, which obviously looks like this, okay? So on a monaceous plant, they have to be grown outside, typically, because you require pollinators, bees, other bugs, butterflies, and so forth. The issue with the monaceous plant is if you don't have a lot of room and you have a patio garden or a container garden and you want to maximize your fruit production, it pr puts off about eight male flowers to two female flowers. That's about the ratio. The hotter it gets in the summertime, you'll have 11, 12 male flowers to maybe one or two female flowers. So not as much. So that's a monaceous variety. Most of these, you know, Boston pickling, most of your seeds that you're gonna buy in the store will be that variety. You need a lot of space because it will vine, as you can see it's taking over here, okay? Let's look at another variety, which is the Parthenocopic variety, okay? And that is a, that was, that, these are specially hybrid uh, uh, cucumbers that do, are self-pollinating. So they do not require male flowers. So if you live in an area such as an apartment or you're doing container where you don't have a lot of space and you want to maximize production, you will get 10 times more cucumbers with this Titus F1 variety. And there's others out there, but that's the one that I use. It's worked pretty well. So let's take a look here, okay? So there you have a female flower, okay? Uh, here you have a female flower. Every uh, flower on here is a female flower. So there are no male flowers. It matters, it does not matter whether bur uh, butterflies, bees land in here and pollinate, does not matter, it'll pollinate itself. So this is a variety I've used for years. This is a pickling cucumber. So the Titus will give you three to six inch pickling cucumbers that you can make dill pickles, sweet and sour pickles, whatever pickles you like. But that's the main variety, folks. You can uh, pick what's best for you. And uh, I like to grow both. As it gets too hot, I will only do the Parthenocopic varieties, okay? Also, when you're growing cucumbers, they're heavy feeders. This one big cucumber vine does require one gallon of water a day, a lot of, and a lot of nitrogen when they're growing, a good amount of 
potassium and phosphorus, okay? A lot of nitrogen, heavy nitrogen feeders and tons of water, okay? 90% of a cucumber is water, okay? So take a look, this is actually a pretty cool variety. My daughter started growing it and uh, there's just a ton of fruit on here, okay? That's it, pick the variety that works best for you. I'm producing this again so you don't have to dig in my archives, pick the cucumber variety that's best for you. Again, monaceous is great if you have a lot of space, you want it to vine out, fill out your yard. Parthenocopic is a better variety if you don't have a lot of space and you want 10 times more production of cucumbers. That's all I have for you on the Executive Garden Channel this time. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Jeff, your Executive Gardener, signing off. Bye for now. Peace.